this one really made me feel like I was being led in to um, whatever it is was going on here. It just felt very authentic. Um, everyone involved felt uh, just really grounded and just saturated in whatever was going on there. Um, there were some parts that I thought that uh, were just uh, really interesting and, and it kind of had me leaning in like, what is going to happen next? Um, definitely near the end there, it gets a little darker. And um, yeah, it was just, I found myself really compelled um, and just interested in what these people were going to be getting up to. Um, the audio was interesting, really something. I uh, finally, last thing, I just, I really thought the COVID kiss through the glass was a smart touch and um, really added to whatever was going on in that forest. Uh, I thought this was so beautiful. It felt so, for lack of a better word, earthy. <laughs> The movement that would, that everybody was doing was so organic and felt so natural and the way that the, you know, the sound bowls and the symbols and um, each of those, like the wind chimes, like all of those things really drove the movement. Music is very attention grabbing and it makes you want to know more about what we're about to see and about these characters and so much. Their movement being so succinct was inspirational. It was like such an amazing thing to be able to experience watching these people move and dance and we're drawn in the entire time. Like there's not a moment watching this film where you can look away because it demands your attention. And I personally really like this film and I think it was very powerful. I love that the story uh, started in black and white and faded in and out of color. Um, I love the creepy sensation as I get watching the woman walk through the forest um, and listening to the wind chimes as she fades in and out of the camera. Um, I felt like this woman was drawing everyone into the forest for some meditation. Um, there were a lot of really cool shots where the focus shifted in and out and the camera used the plants, plants in the trees and the wildlife as uh, natural framing for the larger picture. And overall, this is definitely one to highlight the whimsy that can be found in nature. Andreas John makes a very contemplative and transcendental effort and collaboration with nature itself, along with Hazel Terrain, who is credited for having creative vision, and Jan Sandman, who uh, provided the ceremonial sound. Um, the performance and film is, uh, as I said, very transcendental. I think it's the kind of piece that Walt Whitman and Henry David Thoreau would find uh, appropriate for their sort of works of literature. Um, the effect is extremely balletic, beautiful, and very, sensation and very sensational. Seems to be set in the idea of a post-pandemic world, because in the beginning we see this, this dancer remove his, his mask and his gloves, and is very much reconnecting with the world, with nature around him, touching the flowers. And we see others as well touching water as if for the first time in forever. It seems to be a reconnection, the reconnection we're all waiting for with bated breath uh, at the conclusion of all this. So we can hug and have this, kind, of, you know, and hold hands and have this kind of intimacy that, of course, we've been lacking right now, but also an intimacy we've been lacking with nature from being uh, kept inside for so long. Um, we see evocative imagery that is um, seems to allude to healthcare workers. The, sh the bed sheets that we see played around with very much feel like hospital bed sheets. We see some headpieces as well that may evoke uh, PPE and stuff that doctors wear. And it's interesting how that all contrasts with the nature setting around them. I love the title, first of all. Um, I enjoyed the watching them, the filmmaker, 
play with the the speed and the timing of the shots. Um, the singing bowls were so enchanting and I love that it felt like we were listening to it in real time with the performers, as in we were both listening to the same sounds and reacting to the same sounds in real time. Um, watching them interacting with nature and dancing and feeling while also we get these beautiful close-up shots of flowers in the field and buzzing bees at work pollinating. Um, it felt like a very immersive experience for the viewer. And it was a, it really came full circle. It was a beautiful open um, with the characters coming from their homes, taking their mask off, going into nature and experiencing all of the beauty of it um, and then at the end going back into society and putting the mask back on I just thought it was it was very poignant it was very um, current <laughs> to our you know what we're experiencing right now and I just see this as like going back to our roots and going back to who we are which is part of nature and who and, and not losing that essence